everybody, welcome. We are here today at Disney's Hollywood Studios because we are trying out for the very first time ever the 50s Prime Time Cafe for dinner. And we've never been here before. Nope. So we really have no idea what to expect, but we took a peek at the menu ahead of time and it looks like some good old fashioned fixings on there. I am pretty excited. Are you excited? Yeah, it has, I mean, it looks like kind of just like comfort foods, really. Um, and I'm all about comfort foods, so nothing fancy for me. <laughs> Same here. I'm not a big fancy kind of eater, so I can't wait to try it out. Let's get going. We are about to head into the 50s Primetime Cafe. Let's talk a little bit about the restaurant. The description of this restaurant is that it is a classic American comfort food, 50s kitsch, and a good old fashioned family gathering, taking you back to a bygone era. I wasn't 100% sure what kitsch meant, so I had to look it up and I found out kitsch means lowbrow or tacky, uh, especially when it comes to decorations. So if you take a look at the restaurant, it's all that sort of like 1950s, very tacky kitchen decor with like linoleum, vinyl chairs, formica countertops, um, all really bringing you back. It's got some black and white televisions in there, so you're supposed to feel like it's a 1950s sort of mom's kitchen and what it would have looked like back in the day. So I'm a little nervous about this place. I kept hoping Steve was wrong. Um, he kept saying, I think they like yell at you here. I don't know that they yell at you, but I think they give you like a stern talking to. I'm a little nervous about that. That's not really my bag. I like to just chill, but I'm sure it'll be like funny, but hopefully it's not annoying, but it probably won't be. I'll let you know if it is um, after we go in. I'm a little um, concerned that Steve said kitsch was tacky because I follow, I. I follow and get products from this Kitsch web website for like hair accessories and jewelry and stuff like that. I'm like, does that mean that's tacky? Awkward. Anyway, I saw um, chicken pot pie on there. I saw roast, which I love. I saw um, chicken, fried chicken. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Um, all the sides seem to be like mashed potatoes and I don't eat mashed potatoes. I'm weird. I'm like the only person in the world who doesn't like them. I like any other kind of potatoes, just not mashed. Um, so I don't know, I might get the onion rings um, as an appetizer just for my side, if that makes sense. Because I don't want mashed potatoes, unless they let you substitute something like fries. But I don't know if they'll do that or not. They might yell at me if I ask, I'm scared. Going back to your comment on kitsch, I think kitsch also can mean like cheap. It says low brow. I had to look the word up. It says low brow. So I'm thinking like cheap maybe, or like looked down upon by the wealthy. So is it a website that sells cheap products? Yeah. There you go. That's probably what it is then. Now the 50s Primetime Cafe right behind me is located in Disney's Hollywood studio in Orlando, Florida. And it's actually right next to the Hollywood and Vine location over here by the Dinosaur Lake. Um, so if you're going down the main street, you hang on left right there and it's just down there on the left. It's actually connected to the Hollywood and Vine. So Minnie's Hollywood and Vine, uh, the buffet that they have there. The two buildings are actually connected. You can kind of walk between the two locations if you want to check out the decor in both places. You can kind of just walk between them. Okay, it's finally time. We're gonna head on inside here. And wait, I'm starving. I cannot wait to eat some delicious comfort food. Hopefully it's really good. So we're in here at our table. It's so cute in here. Um, Steve will show you some videos of some of the tables have actual uh, TVs with them. There's, it's super cute. It looks just like your mom's house. Um, when you walk in and all throughout the restaurant, um, they're not mean. They call us like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not following a rule. She told me I couldn't have my uh, elbows on the table, but she wasn't mean about it. They're not annoying, so it's fine. Um, and I asked some annoying questions. I was being high maintenance about the food, and she wasn't annoying at all. But they just kind of call you like troublemakers, or you must follow the rules, but they're not like yelling at you. She said no walkie-talkies, which means cell phones. She said unless you're looking at your menu. Um, and I got this sampler, which is going to be a lot of food. Um, Steve and I kind of should have shared it, but we got two. <laughs> so, whatever. But if you do come and you're like, I don't want mashed potatoes like me, I got extra vegetables instead. They had fries. that You can substitute that in um, just in case you're like me and the, like, 
half percent of the world that doesn't like mashed potatoes. It absolutely looks so cool in here. I like it. Um, the decor, I mean, the decor brings me back to before I was born. Yeah, I wasn't here in the 50s, believe it or not. It kind of reminds me of the 50s scene in Carousel of Progress. Uh-huh, yeah, all the decor there. It looks really cool. All of the waitresses here are dressed in these, like, pink, um, what would you call that? Pink? What is it? Gingham Chad? Gingham Chad? Check? Pink and white gingham check. I've never heard that word before in my entire life, I'm being honest. Um, but they're all dressed in that, and it's really cute. They all refer to themselves as mom. So all the waitresses are mom, and all the people in the restaurant are kids. So when we checked in, she said, have a fun, have a great time, kids. So it was like you're checking in, like you're coming into mom's kitchen, which makes sense, because mom's going to tell you all the things that you should do and all the things you shouldn't do. So I can definitely see why they called it 1950s kitsch, because everything in here is ultra tacky. Like, it's like so old school. It's like, it's just like that old school, like glass, like that like fogged or colored glass stuff everywhere, little figurines. You remember those like old clocks that you would see on the walls with like wood paneling? Um, not that any of that stuff is necessarily tacky if you have it in your home, but just the way that they have it styled here makes it tacky. Um, so just the way it's put together, it makes it feel like 1950s again. Okay, so our food just showed up um, and we both got the sampler. It's called a sampling of mom's favorite recipes um, and it comes with a bunch of different stuff let's just go through it but it looks like a ton of food um, so I'm excited and this was $28 which isn't bad especially given how big the portion sizes are there's a lot of food on this plate first we've got the tender pot roast it does say crispy um, like slow roasted pot, pot roast so I'm hoping there's some crispiness to it because I like crispy pot roast a little bit more than like the super mushy stuff then it's got golden fried chicken uh, which looks crispy and delicious. We'll see if it tastes any good. And then it comes with a smackerel of Mama's meatloaf. Um, I love I love meatloaf if it's good, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then it says all the fixins for me. I got mashed potatoes and brown gravy and green beans. You got I got all the same meat as Steve, um, but I got instead of mashed potatoes, I got corn. And as you see, I've already eaten half my uh, my meatloaf. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I'm weird about meat, but it's really good and I've already eaten half of it. My mom always made meatloaf with ketchup on it on the top. It sounds weird, but it was good. Um, this has like brown gravy, but I like it just as much actually. So. And the corn and green beans are really good. They're like string beans. They're not like green beans like you get out of a can. They're like, looks like um, your mom snapped them and then made them. You know, did you ever, I used to sit and snap green beans with my mom. That's what these look like. My mom used to spend all day snapping green beans and she would make a huge, huge pot full of them and she would put this huge ham hock in there and she'd simmer it all day long. I have a funny story about that um, that is kind of bad. Maybe I'll say it. I'll... Okay, I'm dying to try the fried chicken. Um, it looks really, really good. I'm uh, dying to see if it's crispy and delicious, and I like dark meat. Mmm! It's actually really good. Mm. Yeah, it's actually really good. Um, the cooking is, chick very, is cooked. The chicken is cooked. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Actually really well. It's not undercooked at all, which, thank goodness. Um, and this... I really like the breading on this. It's a little bit salty, a little bit peppery. It's got a good flavor to it, and it's not like super dry. It's like nice and moist and tender. I'm curious to see what she thinks about the chicken because to me, I think this is really good. And she's a little bit more picky about chicken than I am. I got the breast. We didn't even specify. And I like white meat, and he likes dark meat. He got the thigh and the leg, and I got the breast. So it worked out. <laughs> My mom's fried chicken is the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life. Um, so I doubt it's going to beat this. Um, or I doubt this is going to beat that, but um, I, I, it looks good. I like that the skin is crispy. Um, the chicken is the texture that I like. I like my chicken like dry. Steve likes his like moist. He said moist. I was like, ew, I'm not going to like it. But it's not. It's not. It's good. Um, 
I love the crispy skin. Um, the flavor of it's good. Now, is it as good as my mom's? No, because my mom's is like salty. My mom's from Kentucky, and she just she's just a great cook. Um, but this is actually really good. So. Yeah, the chicken could definitely be a little saltier. I think it could be a little saltier. Her mom's chicken is better for sure, but it does remind me of mom's chicken. And that's what it's supposed to remind you of, mom's chicken. So anybody who has fried chicken from their mom is gonna is gonna like this. I think fried chicken. You're gonna you're gonna kind of fall in love with it because it's gonna be similar to anything mom used to make. But yeah, I think her mom's is a little bit is is a little bit better. It definitely edges it out. So now I want your mom's fried chicken. We're gonna have to pay her a visit. Okay, so she said she already tried the meatloaf and it. She said it was actually really good. So I'm gonna give it a go here. Cut me off a piece of it. It does look like it has a little bit of that like ketchup sauce on there. I'm having trouble getting it to focus for some reason. There we go. Um, I like that red ketchup on it. So I don't know. We're gonna see. I, I like it that way. Meatloaf's actually pretty good, but for some reason it doesn't remind me of meatloaf. It reminds me more like almost like a meatball than meatloaf. I don't know why. I think it's because the meat is so finely ground. Um, it's not like like the big hunky kind of meat that's been like pressed into a patty. It's more like finely, almost like a puree that's been mushed together in, into a meatloaf. But it is actually really good. It's got a good flavor. Um, but probably, I think my meatloaf, I would say, is much better. My mom's meatloaf, I think her mom's meatloaf is going to be a little bit better. Um, it doesn't really have much in it. There's no onions or tomatoes or... Honestly, not even that much seasoning, so it's just okay, I'd say, the meatloaf. The, the, it's not nearly as good as the fried chicken, I think. I tried the pot roast. I'm almost done with it, actually. Um, and it's really tender. It's good. They, there are crispy edges. That over there is like, it looks like meat, but that's all fat. But most of it was not fat, so that's good. Roast is always going to have fat. That's what gives it the flavor. Um, so my whole piece, like, pretty much I ate, just not that. Um, so it was really good. Is it as good as my mom's? No. Um, but it is really good. One of the things that I was looking forward to the most on my plate is the thing that she hates the most, which is the mashed potatoes. They're called roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Yum. You can put garlic on almost anything, and I'm going to be a fan. It's got a little bit of brown gravy on it. I could take more gravy, though. I like a lot of gravy on my mashed potatoes, but if the mashed potatoes are good enough, I don't need a lot of gravy. Um, and they look pretty good. I don't see any like big chunks or big hunks in there, but I do see skin on the potatoes. So if you're not a fan of skin, it looks like red skin potatoes. Red skin can, potatoes can be a little sweeter, so we're going to find out. I mean, if you're not a fan of skin in your potatoes, you're probably not going to like them. Yeah, they're a little sweeter, which is what I was kind of uh, assuming with that yellowish color and the red skin in there. I feel like they're a little sweeter. I would like them to be saltier, so I actually put some salt. I'm going to put more salt on it and a little bit of pepper. I think it's going to make it just perfect. Um, but overall, they're pretty good and they're not very lumpy. I'm going to assume they're not lumpy because mom knows how to do stuff right and mom uh, is going to tell you when it's wrong. And I think lumps in the potatoes is a no-go. Lumps in the potatoes is not good. So they probably had to really make sure here that there weren't any lumps in the mashed potatoes because I don't think mama would like that too much. <laughs> We were looking at the other tables and we saw um, a couple of tables had their cell phones or their walkie-talkies, quote-unquote, in this little basket that's sitting on the table, which is where the napkins and stuff were, but they had theirs in there, so I'm wondering if that's where you're supposed to put your cell phones because you're not supposed to be on them during the meal, which I actually think that's actually really cool. I'm sure you don't have to put your cell phones away, but I actually really like that because it kind of makes your family like engage with each other. Um, and, you, you know, you're, you're running around the hustle and bustle of Disney, and it's kind of like a good moment to just sit down and eat a meal together and talk and have a conversation with your kids or your spouse and your family. Um, that like they did back in the old days. And back then they didn't have a lot of like TV stuff happening. You kind of just sat down, you had a family dinner. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. One thing that I did notice is that you can get um, flavorings in your drinks. So you can get like a diet cherry Coke here if you want. They add like the grenadine in there. Kind of like the old fashioned soda shops where you can get like vanilla or cherry or something added into your soda. You can do that here too. So makes sense. I feel like that was popular back in the day. Okay, so I asked her what to get. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to get the um, pineapple upside down cake. 
um, Cheesecake Factory has the best one of those I've ever had. Um, or the, the Apple Crisp Alamo. But the, Steve was like, oh, the Apple Crisp is plant-based. So I was like, mm. So I wasn't sure. So I asked the waitress which one was better. She said the Apple Crisp. So that's what I got. And look how big it is. It's huge. And it kind of looks like just like a bowl of, I don't know, something you would get at home. Like it's not too like fancy looking or anything. It's like a bowl of stuff. So it looks like granola, apples, some sort of saucy apples are in, and hand-dipped ice cream, which hand-dipped ice cream is my favorite ice cream. So. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's very, very good. I almost didn't get dessert, and I was like, oh, I want that warm cookie over at the market by Joffrey's when you come out of Toy Story Land, but I'm glad I got this instead. I think I'm going to have to get me a bite of this. See if I can get some of it from way over here. Mm. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. Mm. That is really good. It's so crispy. I was afraid it was going to be like the, all the crispy stuff not crispy. Man, it's good. I don't know what the pineapple upside down cake tastes like, but I'm sure the way she, she was right because that's good. So Mama did not steer us wrong. I think it's really good. I kind of want more of that, but I want to dig into my dessert now. Okay, so I got something that I was actually more excited about this than I was about the food when I saw the menu here. And for me, um, I, one of my favorite desserts is lemon meringue pie. Check this thing out. Yum. Look how good that looks. It looks so delicious. It has some sort of like sauce here. It's got its own little, I don't know, little pie. It's like a mini pie. It's a whole lemon meringue pie just in miniature size. It is not at all what I was expecting was going to be happening. I thought it was going to be a slice of pie. But I'm actually kind of excited to get my own pie. Okay, so let's try this out. Mmm. Look at that. Man, that looks good. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Let's try that. Look at that. It's got all that lemon meringue. It's got, I mean, it's got the meringue. It's got the lemon filling. It's got some sort of, this is, I'm guessing, like, maybe blowtorch or something. It's a slightly different color. I don't know. Yum. Here's the pitch to Serrano. He swings and drives with a deep left. Way back. Way back! This ball is gone! Yeah! Mm. I absolutely love this. It's so good. Look how much filling there is there. Um, and this meringue is actually really good. Surprisingly. I don't know what this sauce is right here. But it doesn't really need it. I think it's like a raspberry sauce of some kind. You can't tell. But I love this. The lemon filling, the curd has such a delicious tartness to it. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Mmm. It's so good. I wonder if she's gonna like, here, I'm gonna, why don't you try the pie crust? I'm curious what you think of the pie crust. It's a little mush for me. And it looked good. I, I thought, oh, the crust looks good, it's not. That was my exact same reaction. The crust, not so much, but I, the crust on a lemon meringue pie is my least favorite part of it. Usually when I eat a lemon meringue pie, I kind of skip the crust. I'm more interested in the filling, and the meringue is my favorite part. I love the meringue. So if I had one complaint about this lemon meringue pie, there's not enough meringue. I want my meringue to be like this big, and then this much filling, um, and it's kind of the opposite. I mean, it's got a good amount of meringue here on the top, but I, like I said, I would want it to, I would like the meringue to be like way up here, like huge amount of meringue, but it's just kind of a little, little bit dollops. But overall, I would definitely get this pie again. It's delicious. It's the best lemon meringue pie I've had on Disney property so far. I haven't had too many. This is the best one so far. As far as Disney restaurants go, this to me was a 10 out of 10. I can't, can't decide. I was going back and forth between 9 out of 10 and 10 out of 10, but I think this is 10 out of 10. The food was really good. It was very quality. It came very fast, um, but it didn't taste like old or really pre-made. I'm sure it was pre-made, but it, it tasted really, really good. Everything could have had a, um, more salt overall, but that's only because I like love salt. I'm like salt freak. So 
that's not good for you, but um, it was really good. My dessert was on point. Um, the whole atmosphere was really cute. They weren't annoying and like mean. They yelled at some tables more than they yelled at us. We were following the rules better, I think. Because some people were on their walkie talkies, their cell phones, so, and we weren't. And, but overall, I love it. I definitely want to come back. I want to try it with my kids because I think they would really like it. I totally agree. That was such a fun restaurant, but I will say there was a couple of things that I wanted to point out. One was um, the tables themselves. So the table, uh, the experience, they have, if you're looking for one of the tables that has like the TV in it, on it, there's not a ton of those tables and they're usually for about four to six people. So if you have a smaller party, like a two person party, you're probably not going to get a table with the TV. Most of the, uh, most of the other tables had them for larger parties. Um, not that you really do much with the TV and you can see like even for us, our little two person table, there was a TV over to the side. So we kind of got the same experience. You don't interact with the TV, it's not a big deal. But just in case you're, it's not gonna be like the sci-fi dine-in theater where, you have, where you're in your like own little car or whatever. You're get, you may just end up being at sort of a normal table. The other thing that I thought was really funny uh, was there was a family sitting right next to us and I got it on video, um, basically that the table before them had left a bunch of food on the ground. Yeah, I think they had a baby in their party, so uh, they had some food on the ground. And so when they sat at the other table, they couldn't put the chair there. And so they were like, oh, and then she said, I'll be right back and I'll, we'll clean this up, don't worry. The, the mom, mom told him that. So then mom comes back and the one boy, he's kind of sit, standing up or sitting down. And she's like, I didn't tell you to sit down, stand up. When she came back to the table with the broom, she said, actually, go ahead and just, why don't you just go ahead and sweep it up, do your chores, and while you're at it, get that table next to you too. And she was just, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to do. That's the shtick, right? It's mom telling the kids, do your chores. Um, but the family had never been here before. They had no clue what to expect. And they actually asked us after the experience, um, because the boy did kind of sweep some of it up. They asked us, they said, excuse us. And we were like, yeah, what's up? And they were like, um, did you think that that was appropriate? So I was like, no, 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 look, that's the shtick of this place. Like, that's just how it is at this place. They didn't understand. I said, it's, it's kind of flattering, actually, that you get a, a, sort of that character interaction. Um, I said, it's mom, you know, and you're the kids and all that. So they were like, oh, we should probably do our homework more before we come to the restaurants. Because they were literally like, you could tell they were upset. I was looking at them and they had like mad spatial expressions. And then once they figured that out, they were like, oh, okay. And then, yeah. Yeah, she said that the, the dad was like, they were going to leave and the family talked the dad out of leaving. So they ended up staying and then that's when they asked us. So if you're not sure what's going on with this restaurant, that's what's happening there. Don't get offended. Um, you may be able to ask them not to do that. I don't know, but I thought it was hilarious. And the table, the other table next to us, they probably got yelled at 20 times for being on their walkie talkies, at least their cell phones. Um, and then they had their feet on the furniture. I mean, they got yelled at a lot. We didn't get yelled at at all. So. Overall, awesome experience. We will definitely be back. Um, hopefully you got a glimpse into what this place is all about. I loved it, my food was good, you loved it. Dessert was good, food was good. It's about 100 bucks for the two of us. That's how much it costs. Because we both got the sampler platter, which was like 28 bucks each. We both got a Diet Coke, which was $5. Oh, be still my heart on the Diet Cokes. Um, and then we got desserts, which I don't remember the price. It's like <laughs> maybe like 10 bucks for each, each dessert. And then a tip, so it was 100 bucks even actually. Um, but it was fun. Yeah, I loved it. I so if you're, if you're looking for like Southern home cooking, her mom's food's still better, but yeah. it was a great place. Then um, I think you definitely got to try the 50s Prime Top Cafe. And it was a fun experience. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully we gave you a little bit of a taste, ha -ha, quote unquote, of this restaurant. And you'll have to let us know what you think of 50s Prime Time Cafe. Is it one of your favorites? Is it, is it a must do or is it a one and done? Let us know in the comments. Thanks again for joining us. Until we see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.